Hey gang, we'll hear from the Ashland Fly Shop with a fishing report for you for mid-July. And wow, we're just thrilled we've got steelhead in the river. And you know, it's really an incredible thing since the dams have come out for like for the last five years, uh, talking about Savage Rapids and Gold, Gold Ray Dam there that you know, we're kind of just uh, downstream from Medford and into Grants Pass. We've really seen every year some unique things as far as the timing of the runs, si fish size, numbers, things like that. And once again, here we are. So we have good flows this year. We have good cool water throughout the system, unlike last year. Uh, but we got fish. We got fish way, way up at the top. We have 600 fish to the hatchery right now. And uh, that's really reflecting throughout, uh, throughout the river and the river that we concentrate mostly on from, you know, Medford up to the dam. And uh, man, we're just getting them. We're getting them right now. We're getting them mainly swinging flies, to be honest. Nymphing is a little tougher. I think that's because the fish are just really kind of cruising around in the water column. They're early fish. They're super bright. They're super hot. And they just, they don't feel the need to be hunkered down. They're just, they feel safe. Uh, a little bit in different spots in the water column and uh, swinging flies just really getting them. We're fishing scandy heads, we're fishing traditional fly, uh, traditional type flies, hair wing flies uh, on standard mono leaders, on light versa leaders. Um, you know, not a lot of people are fishing tips, but you certainly could fish tip, uh, intermediate tip. Um, and fish a little larger fly, I'm sure they would respond to that as well. Um, and then nymphing too, if that's your game, I'm sure you'll find a couple here or there. We're seeing more kind of small fish, a few bigger ones in the mix, but a lot of like 20, 21 inch fish that are just ripping. So some really, really good fishing happening in the upper section of the Rogue and we'll take it, man. <laughs> It's awesome. We're happy to start steelhead season, you know, whenever they want it to start. So, so that's great. So we're really enjoying that. Um, other possibilities, you know, trout as far as right directly here in our region, right from Ashland, people who are coming up to visit and stuff and get a lot of these questions. Just not a ton of opportunity right now. Um, right in our region, the holy water is pretty quiet. It's going to really almost be dormant for the summer, you know, not many hatches. You could get surprised up there and find something, but, um, you know, we, we really don't spend a lot of time up there this time of year. I have run into some very cool midge hatches in the very late evening, uh, the last hour and a half before dark, but I've had really tough time getting those fish. Uh, Klamath Basin, Full Swing, um, Williamson River, Klamath Lake, uh, really happening over there. Hopper's about to get going on the wood, so very good fishing happening over there. Challenging if you're just like pitching a tent and thinking you're going to fish that area. You really need to have a boat or something like that. It's certainly helpful, but we can help you kind of navigate that a little bit if, uh, if you have any questions. Northern California, same thing, coming off of the early hatches now. Still some nice, cool water down there, uh, but we do have, you know, we're getting into that summertime. You know, people call it the doldrums down there, dog days, but I think we're still a little ways from that still. Should find some very good fishing down there, probably turning more to nymphing and stuff now. Some dry in the evening but um, really getting to that midsummer time so so still some great stuff to do um, in the area um, just really you know we love to fly fish for steelhead and that's what we're gonna be doing now for a while so um, so great thank you so much for for watching and if you have any questions please call us at the shop and we appreciate it thank you